Hello and welcome to Maths by Saz. Uh, students, uh, in this class we will be learning and discussing D2 exercise 1C that is about the inverse variations, advanced level question number 16. And uh, for the practice purpose, I will be integrating this lesson with uh, D1's exercise 9B that is about rate exercise. And the practice question uh, will be question number 10. Both the questions are uh, similar, so I thought to uh, discuss both the questions at the same time so that students can integrate these two concepts uh, and they can apply easily in their uh, uh, problems. So let's first read question number 16. Question 16 says, a contractor agrees to lay a road 3,000 meters long in 30 days and 50 men are employed and they work for 8 hours per day. After 20 working days, he finds that only 1,200 meters of the road is completed. Okay, the problem is, the question says that how many more men does he need to employ in order to finish the project on time if each man now is supposed to work for 10 hours a day? Okay, let's try to understand the question that a contractor uh, agrees to lay the road and the length of the road is 3000 meters in how many days in 30 days and for that purpose 50 men were employed and they were supposed to work for 8 hours per day but after 20 working days after 20 working days he finds that only 1200 meters of the road is completed or constructed now he wants to finish the work in time means that in 30 days uh, but what he uh, is doing now he wants to know that how many more men he needs to employ such that he will be able to finish the work in time and now every man will have to work 10 hours a day instead of 8 hours now you can see that here we have four different quantities uh, like one is the length of the road then the time men and uh, their labor per day so what we are going to do we have to solve this problem with the help of compound proportion that the quantities which are involved here are men or worker men then time in hours time in hours and then length of the road of the road and the days days now what happens that uh, that in the beginning uh, what is he doing uh, let me read the question again that uh, 50 men are employed to complete the job and 50 men are working 8 hours per day and the length of the road uh, that they have uh, actually they have to actually construct is these 3000 meters but uh, for first 20 days only 1200 meters of the road has been constructed and uh, days are 20 days are 20 now look total length of the road was uh, 12 3000 total length of the road is 3000 but in 20 days 50 man uh, has constructed only 1200 meter road so out of 3000 meters 3000 meters uh, what length uh, we still have with us that we need to construct 0 0 10 minus 2 is 8 and here 1800 now the second part of the question says how many more men so we suppose let the men be x let the men be x so x men now these x men are supposed to work at what rate at what time 10 hours per day and the length of the road that we uh, still have to construct is 1800 and total days initially were 30 
and uh, for 20 days the work has decided work is done and we need to finish the work in 30 days so re remaining days are 10 so i hope students you are really clear that how we are writing this information that initially 50 men were employed to finish the job in 30 days and construct the total length of the road which is 3000 meters and they were supposed to work at 8 hours per day but what happened that after checking the work on 20th day after 20 days the contractor has realized that only 1200 meters of the road has been constructed so the more work is still left to complete now he wishes to complete the job in time in time means 30 days and the total length of the road is also same which is 3000 meters now we have to see that how uh, many more men we are going to employ so that we can construct we can complete this 3000 meters road in uh, 30 days now look uh, what we have to do we have to establish the relationship uh, between uh, the men and the time and men in length and men in days so uh, according to the rule and then we have to go for the comparison we can see that if the time is 8 hours men are 50 when time is increasing men will decrease time increase and men decrease and here we will have the inverse uh, proportion between these two quantities moving to the third one that is the length when we compare length with men when the length was 1200 men were 50 and as the length is increasing so men will also increase so we will have the direct proportion over here and then moving to the relationship between days and men we can see when when days are 20 men are 50 when days have become 10 and we need to finish the work in time we have to increase the number of men okay again we will have the inverse proportion over here now we have to write down the equation x ratio we always have to begin with the unknown x ratio 50 equals to 8 over 10 and then we have to start with this point 1800 upon 1200 multiplied by 20 by 10 now is the problem to go for simplification here you can see 0 can easily go with this 0 and these two zeros can easily go and now what we have to do is that 2 1s are and 2 6 are and 6 1s are and 6 3s are and we are left with uh, 2 4s are and 2 5s are and uh, here we are left with 4 multiplied by 3 by 5 x over 50 now uh, for the simplification purpose and for the solution purpose shift 50 to other side 4 multiplied by 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 50 now 5 ones are and 5 tens are and we will have 4 times 3 times 10 4 3 is a 12 multiplied by 10 is 120 and the question is that uh, how many more men extra men or workers that he has to uh, imply now is equal to 120 minus 50 which is equal to 70 men so he has to uh, hire 70 extra men to uh, finish the project which is 3000 meters long in 30 days i hope you are clear about this question and let's apply the concept on d ones question so that uh, these questions uh, will be no problem for my students uh, moving to question number 10 of exercise 9b d1 
क्वेश्चन टेन से टेन शेफ्स कैन प्रिपेयर अ मील फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स पीपल इन एट आवर्स अज्यूमिंग दैट द शेफ्स कुक एट द सेम रेट एंड दैट द रेट एट विच दे कुक रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट द प्रेपरेशन फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ पीपल ट्वेंटी टू शेफ्स कैन प्रिपेयर अ मील इन फाइव आवर्स ओके The question says that ten chefs can prepare the meal for five thirty-six people in eight hours. Okay, and we have to assume that the all the chefs go at the same rate. Okay, uh, we have to make this assumption, and we have to find that uh, the number of people twenty-two chefs can prepare the meal for uh, five hours. so uh, the requirement of the question is that the number of people for which 22 chefs can prepare the meal let the number of people be x equals to x again we'll be making the use of compound compound pro the proportion so according to that first of all we have to see that uh, how many uh, quantities are involved here uh, chefs people and time chefs people and time so uh, the unknown of the question is uh, people so i'm going to keep um, people in the beginning time and chefs now look carefully if the people are 536 then uh 536 people 10 chefs and time is 8 hours find the number of people find the number of people so x 22 chefs can prepare meal for 5 hours time is 5 hours okay now after this after writing uh, uh, the expression in this way what we have to do that uh, we have to establish the relationship uh, between people and time and chef and people uh, okay look if the time is 8 uh, hours time is 8 hours people are 536 now you can see when the time has reduced time has reduced people will also be reducing so over here we will have the direct proportion and moving to the next uh, quantity chefs and people when chefs are 10 uh, chefs are 10 people are 536 when chefs have increased chefs have increased more chefs can make food for more people so again uh, we will have the direct uh, proportion between people and chefs and now what we have to do is that we always have to begin with unknown x ratio uh, 536 equals to uh, 5 ratio 8 5 ratio 8 multiplied by 22 ratio 10 22 ratio 10 now is the time to go for simplification uh, 5 ones are 5 twos are 2 ones are and 2 elevens are and i'm left with 11 over 8 uh x over 536 and x equals to 11 over 8 multiplied by 536 now i have to think about uh, the table which is suitable for 8 and 536 uh 86 sa 48 87 sa 56 okay if i'm reading table of 2 2 4s 2 4s 2 2 4 2 6 and 12 and 2 8 and then 2 2 4 and 4s and then 2 6 12 2 7 14 times 67 now uh, the problem is that we will be solving this whole question uh, uh, without calculator because this is also one of the problem for the students that they find the calculations difficult uh, table of 11 uh, or 1 1 times 7 is 7 1 times 6 is 6 and then 
and 6. 7, 6, 6, 12, and 1, 13, and 1. So x equals to 737 people. So it means that 22 chefs, if they are working for 5 hours, they can prepare the meal for 737 people. Students, I hope you are really clear about these two questions. And if uh, now you have the problem in uh, D1, exercise 9B, question number 10, you can easily resolve that problem and apply the concept on D2 and always integrate your concepts and learnings with the previous concepts so that learning becomes easy for you please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much